non-radioactive in situ hybridization protocol applicable for Norway spruce and a range of plant species, Cargren et al. Hi, my name is Anna Cargren and we are working at Uppsala University and the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences in Uppsala, Sweden. We have established an in situ hybridization protocol that works on several different plant species. Today we are going to show you some demanding steps in this protocol. We are going to show you embedding, sectioning and different steps in the actual in situ hybridization experiment. Let's go to the lab. 1. Fixation and embedding. Step 9 to 11 in the protocol. Step 9. Preheat petri dishes and moulds at 60 degrees centigrade. Step 10. Heat a pair of tweezers and distribute the tissues evenly in a dish. Add more histowax so that the tissues are covered. Step 11. Let the wax harden at room temperature. Two, sectioning, steps 12 to 19 in the protocol. Turn on the hot plates and have melted histowax available. Take out the samples from the cold room. Step 13, use a scalpel to carefully cut out the wax block of tissue. Shape the piece to facilitate slicing. Step 14. Heat the block holder and the heel and fuse them together. Let the prep harden at 4 degrees centigrade. Step 15. Cut the wax block into 6 to 8 micrometer thick sections using a microtone. The sections are linked in one long ribbon. Cut off a ribbon and move it to paper. At this point it is possible to inspect the individual sections under a stereo microscope to choose sections of interest. It will be easy to perform the inspection if the tissues are stained with eosin. Step 17. Add RNAs free milliq water onto the slides. Cut the ribbon into small pieces and put them on the slides.
move the slides to the hot plate. Step 17, allow ribbons to flatten out on a 42 degrees centigrade plate for one to two minutes. Drain off the water using Kim wipe. Step 19. Incubate the slides at 42 degrees centigrade overnight so that the tissues adhere to the slides. Four, in situ hybridization. 4.1 in situ section pretreatment. Steps 36 to 48 in the protocol. Step 36, deparaffinize sections in the histoclear. The slides are evenly spaced and placed in a rack to facilitate the movement between different containers. Dehydrate sections in an ethanol series. Add acetic anhydride while stirring vigorously. Step 45 Set up for acetic anhydride treatment. 4.2 In situ hybridization steps 49 to 52 in the protocol. Step 51 Sandwiching of Pro1 Plus slides. The solution is viscous, try to avoid bubbles. Incubate the slides in a humid chamber. 4.3 In situ post hybridization steps 53 to 72 in the protocol. Step 62 Incubate the slides with the Burringer block in a plastic container. Step 63. Add enough blocking solution just to cover the slides. The antibodies are added to the slides using sandwiching. Sandwiching only works with Probon plus slides or slides of a similar design. Step 65. Allow capillary forces to pull up the anti dig antibody solution. This step is repeated. Step 70. As before, sandwich and draw up the western blue solution. Notice that the western blue solution is drawn up twice, just as we did for the anti dig antibody solution in step 65.
Step 71. Incubate slides in darkness for one to five days at room temperature. The monitoring of hybridization signals can be done in a stereo microscope while the slides are still sandwiched. It should be possible to observe purple to brownish stains. This is what the results from an actual in situ hybridization experiment look like. You can see the signal here as purple or brownish staining.